Now, when, when there is no change in the concentration of the reactant or the products, then we say that the reaction or a system has reached an equilibrium state when there is no change in the reactants and in the in the concentration of the reactants and products then we say that the reaction has reached an equilibrium state an equilibrium state okay it has reached an equilibrium state okay and the concentration of the reactant and product at this point of time okay the 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 mixture of react and and at this time what will happen maybe maybe this has become say uh, together they are say 10 to the power minus 1 mole this has become say say 2 moles fine okay so so but but at a given point of time you will have a mixture of the reactants as well as the products in the equilibrium state that is called equilibrium mixture okay that is called equilibrium mixture so the mixture of reactants and products the mixture of reactants and products at the equilibrium state at the equi at the equilibrium state is called is called equilibrium mixture equilibrium mixture okay it is called an equilibrium mixture fine it is called equilibrium mixture we know that the equilibrium is not a static but a dynamic one so equilibrium is a dynamic state and not a static one as it looks to be okay it is a it is a dynamic one now depending on depending on to what extent depending on to what extent the reaction proceeds we can we can we can subdivide the reactions into three types okay so so do i erase this I had I had used a word here 
to that is just erased equilibriums right that is wrong actually i should have used equilibria okay this is the plural for for equilibrium right so so you can you can make that change in your copies it is an equilibria fine fine now now depending on to what extent okay to what extent the the reactions proceed in the forward direction depending on the extent to which the forward reaction proceeds forward reaction proceeds the chemical reactions are divided into three three groups right three groups the first in the first one the 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 reactants they may become so small that we are not able to even gauge that they are there and that means almost all the reactants have been converted into the product right so the reactions which proceed almost completely almost completely in the forward direction in the forward direction so that only traces of reactants remain in the equilibrium mixture but i'd like to caution even at that point maybe the equipments that we are using are not able to detect the presence of any of the reactants but still there will be some small amount of reactant left okay so so though you are kind of into a into a into a reaction that moves mostly mostly in the forward direction still you have something like this right so so in a sense but but there will be an equilib equilibrium which will be established so many a times it is shown like this okay the forward arrow being longer telling you that more of the reactants go into products than products into into the into the reactants but at equilibrium this is for for the whole reaction right when we are concerned with the concentration of the reactants and the products but actually at equilibrium at equilibrium the reactants have to be have to be shown like that because a point does come reactant or reactants or does a point does come where where the reactant and the product keep on interchanging so so as many as much of reactant that becomes product as much of product and so much of product that becomes reactant okay so that is one of the types right then we come to the second type of the reaction where the 
the reactants in the the reactions in which a small amount of products are formed so so the reverse of this okay the reactions in which small amount of product products is formed small amount of products is formed and the equilibrium mixture consists of predominantly predominantly the reactants okay so 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 it may be that the product is in the trace amounts and and you're not e even able to detect it so you'll find as if they are not reacting but some amount of some amount of forward movement is there so so many times you'll you'll see this being used right so a very small amount of it transforms into product but but a lot of it is towards the left side but at equilibrium again i'll i'd like to emphasize if if we say say at equilibrium then at equilibrium the reactants and the products are the same okay the the forward and the reverse movement is the same this is for the overall reaction right this is this is this is not telling you any state this is telling you the end result whatever is happening okay similarly this this is telling you that more of the reactants become products than than products becoming reactants so in the end you will find more of the products right but but the equilibrium state is always an equilibrium that means both the forward and the reverse reactions are the same because if they are not the same that means the reaction is either producing so for example more of the reactants is still becoming a product that means that means the reaction is still moving in the forward direction and an equilibrium state has still not been achieved similarly if the formation of the reactants from the products is more then it means that it is still shifting to the left and an equilibrium state is not reached at equilibrium they do become equal right fine now the third kind of reaction is where you find moderate amounts of 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 the of the reactant as well as product so so the concentration of the and products are comparable are comparable okay so at any point of time you have something like this so reactants and products okay and and the same thing is is stated at equilibrium that that say some amount of reactant some amount of product both quite detectable okay may or may not be see the concentration may be higher or lower for for certain things but yes it is it is there and both are both are comparable in 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 their concentration but don't start looking for a sharp cut off right they are comparable does not mean that the concentration of both the reactant products is equal or they they vary by 2 or something right it is not that now you should understand one more thing before we proceed that once an equilibrium is established it is not that it is permanent okay 
सो एन इक्विलिब्रियम एन इक्विलिब्रियम अंडर सर्टेन कंडीशन अंडर सर्टेन सर्टेन कंडीशन is not a permanent equilibrium what do we mean by that it means that if i change the environmental conditions say i change the temperature i change the pressure then the equilibrium may shift in either direction okay so with change in reaction conditions reaction conditions like temperature okay temperature pressure maybe a catalyst okay catalyst actually accelerates the rate of reaction temperature or pressure the equilibrium can be shifted the equilibrium can be shifted in either direction in either direction okay with change in reaction conditions the equilibrium can be shifted so so if you find that maybe maybe you are stuck with a reaction like this where you are you want some product to get formed but it is not getting formed then then you have to look for under what conditions what conditions are required so that this moves forward maybe if you increase the temperature maybe if you increase the pressure okay this may start moving to the right and that is one of the biggest advantages of studying the equilibrium that if we want to shift our particular reaction in the forward direction for example nitrogen and hydrogen together form ammonia okay n2 plus h2 giving you nh3 okay now ammonia is something that is very very important chemical in the industries right it is used in making fertilizers and and is used at at so many places that it is considered a very very important ingredient for for maybe any further further uh, reactions as well now what happens while forming this the people got stuck that that after a point of time the the reaction reached Uh, reached an equilibrium and no more ammonia was getting formed it was haber okay it was haber who devised the conditions under which the reaction will go forward to 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 the fullest extent so that you are able to tap more ammonia from the reactants and his his conditions that he set for that were so important and it led to such a sharp sharp uh, sharp increase in the production of ammonia that he was awarded a nobel prize for for this very thing okay so that is the power of equilibrium when you are trying to say say synthesize a particular material okay you would like more and more products to be formed from the reactants and if it is possible to shift the shift the equilibrium to the right then you have achieved your goal fine okay